It's a me, not Mario, cause I'm a Luigi, look, it's on the picture. Today we're going for a deck request for a Performage deck. I've been testing this deck for quite a bit, and I'm, to be honest, I'm still not, like, 100% sure on what build I feel is perfect or really good. I've been testing a few different things, in the end I decided, like, on certain cards that I really like in the deck, and certain others I just don't. But, nah, in the end, uh, I decided on this, although there still are a few cards in the side deck, like I usually do with these deck requests, that I feel could be main deck material, depending on, like, what you think you'll face, or what could just work out in the deck. Um, I should also mention, I haven't actually used this deck in, like, one and a half weeks now, I just sort of forgot about the deck request. So hopefully I'll remember why I put, uh... Um... Um, why did I put some cards in? Um, I honestly don't remember what some of these cards do. Because <laughs> before I started testing for this, I didn't have a clue. Um, I get some of that with an Ari Fire. Xyz first turn. Oh, what are Xyz into, though? I don't feel I have something, anything amazing that I want to go into first turn. This is second turn material. <laughs> I could damage juggler with Wonder Wand. I don't know what I want! You can banish Scuff from your grave out of performance monster from deck to hand. Sounds great. So, I could normal summon it with Wonder Wand, get cards, add something. I'll just check it. I could Wonder Wand, but I feel like I want to use Wonder Wand later. Pretty sure I had put two copies of Wonder Wonder. I'm gonna put it in defense, see what happens. I can banish it later. What's this? Oh no, 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 I don't know what these things to do! Battle of card effects while there is a dark hole. Go psychic type monster. Take one card on the field destroyed, and if you do, take a thousand damage. Interesting card to use. I've not seen that in a while. If at all. Maybe I'll just have to make like make use of their life point payments. And win that way. Like sort of defend myself and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that one. I'm not a right? You get the activation. Uh, during either of value, you can just reduce the next data damage you would take this turn to zero. I'll do that, but then I don't have a thing anymore. This thing can't be targeted by my card effects, though. I don't need to fucking take it out. So. Yeah, I need the Dark Hole for it. No, I am gonna discard you. To not take damage. <laughs> Once per turn, I can get one. I can banish it. To get so I can get something fancy. I just got from the grave for some level six. Like it, it, it can just summon something back. Even if I dark hole the thing. Um. Yay for my unfamiliar, really unfamiliar. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Damage juggler, I can banish. To get something. And then I can like do the Jacobite and do the thing. Do the Jacobite and do the Inara Fire. And get something fancy. This. I can't summon that. Busy box. Ragna. You. Whatever else they summon might actually be able to be taken down by something else. I'll dark hole it. The next step hopefully can be targeted by <laughs> card effects, so I can take it out with 101. Although 101 may be taken out, like, lose something if I use materials. Oh, 
specimen from the deck. Slider. Destroy it. Calm the F down, I said I don't know the cards. This card feels into sort of a card very common because I'm going to hand. Okay then. I can actually hit this thing or just beat it by battle. Hmm. Finish from the grave, get a level 4 lower Cosmo. Um. Reckon Zero can beat it, but it can't defend itself like Silent Arc Arcan, and I am afraid of their face downs. So I still want to Silent Arc Arc on this. Okay. Juggler F. I kind of dependent on that now. And it's got a perform age. I think I want my, uh, my trick clown. Because if it's in the grave through any means, I can special summon it back. If I take a thousand damage, I could exceed twice. Trick clown, get over here. I don't use it once per turn, so I can't summon it, wonder wand, summon it back, gigabyte, exceeds, get rid of it, and then I fire two exceeds. <laughs> Trick clown, go. Gigabyte, don't talk shit, shotgun. The problem is I can't exceed now or summon Inari Fire. Can't use Wonder Wand either. <laughs> Stop being annoying. <laughs> In Cosmos. Generally lose the life points afterwards because not a cost, but okay. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. What the hell? Reading too quick. Psychic type Cosmo monster against 500 attack and defense. It can make two attacks on monsters. Also, if it attacks defense, special monster like piercing damage. Damn it! Center physics. Crap. Okay. That's gonna hit Gigabyte and then Trick Clown. Or trick clown first. I don't know why. Let's see. Piercing damage. Silver flip. Eight hundred. Thinking I could pay a thousand to put him back. What effect? What effect? Oh, that one. Can you wait for me to even chain something? You're not even allowing it. I understand that you're familiar with Cosmos, but you're playing too fast. The resolved yours. They were supposed to go on chain. Would I use it? Sure, yours would go first, but... No, it wouldn't actually. It would actually go first. Never mind, because that's upon battle damage. This one's upon center grade. I did say thinking, so if, so yeah. If they didn't see that. Um, maybe it took a thousand damage. They'll just deal twenty instead of. Uh, well, this way they'll deal more. I can save me taking hits from from Slip Rider. Yes. 
I could save, I can take a thousand damage to take, um, more. Why would they attack that? Why would they not attack Tricon now? Because now it's at zero. I don't understand. Tricon's at zero. Okay, but you're not using light sword, light sword now. So it wasn't part of it. Never announced that sword was part of the chain. It's optional. You have to. I'm gonna be annoying now too because you were playing too fast. I'll lose, yeah. But I just want to be annoying back because they were playing too fast. Time to go into the deck profile. I will see you in just a bit. Whoosh. And as if by magic, we are suddenly in the deck profile section of this video. Did you know that's what I do? Deck requests, deck profiles included. <coughs> Please give me a second. <coughs> Yay, better. Yay, the voice is back. Okay, good. Perform edge. Three damage juggler because it can stop damage. And I can search for stuff. Trick Clown, because it's, mm, it's pretty strong, but I can summon itself back after being sent to the grave. And it doesn't matter from where, it just sent to the grave. If it's from field, from hand, from being XC's material, it can be sent to the grave, summon itself back, and it has a nice combo with a monster that we'll get to in a sec. Flame Meter. You can activate the effect and special summon it when you would be dealt effect damage and just whoop, free monster on the field. Here you go. Then we have Hat Tricker, um, which can special summon if you have two or more monsters on the field, so that can help uh, getting Xyzes ready. Um, you can uh, have some fun with this before mage counters, although I don't have that happen to me a lot. Gigabyte and Nari Fire and Nefarious Archery and Eater of Nefariousness. <laughs> I quite like that name. Are there because these things are all spellcasters, and spellcasters plus these things equal Xyz monsters. One copy of Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. This is in there because this thing. Let's assume. Um, Thousand Blades, Trick Clown, in the grid, are on the field, together. You exceed into, I don't know, Silent Donor Arc. You detach both of them to take something away from the opponent. Uh, Trick Clown activates because it's sent to grave. Special summon it, take a thousand damage. That damage then triggers Thousand Blades. When you take damage while this card is in the grave, you can special summon it in attack position. You can only use that effect once per turn, and you can only use a trick, a trick on revival once per turn. However, you have them both revived, and you can then Xyz again. Unfortunately, if you want to use that second monster effect and detach something, neither will activate, <coughs> so you'll need to watch out with that. Thing is, if you, if you just detach one, detach a thousand blades, because that one doesn't actually activate upon detaching. It's a trick clown that does when it hits the graveyard. Thousand Blades could just sit in the graveyard for many turns, just wait for trick clown to get there. But if you if it's a second monster, <coughs> what's up with my throat today? If it's a second monster that has to detach two, just like sent on an arc, um, then that second Nixies doesn't allow you to set up for the combo again later. Because let's say that second monster is Black Ship Accord. Then you detach Thousand Blades, keep Trick Clown. Maybe your next turn, or like well, at, like a few turns later, Black Ship gets destroyed while Trick Clown's still attached. Trick Clown can use its effect, to pay, like summon it. You do take a thousand damage, but then you also get your Thousand Blade, and you can immediately exceed again, or you just have two monsters defending your life points. Would it be the opponent's turn? 
Um, one foolish burial to send something to the graveyard. Can be thousand blades to help set up the combo. Can be trick clown if you want an extra monster on the field to maybe use with wonder wand or to have a spell cost on the field for gigabyte. You could also send damage juggler just so you can immediately banish it with his own effect to search for a monster. Monster gate. I don't use it a lot. So I don't think I'd use it more than one. But there's a good amount of cards that work in the grave. As I said, damage juggler, uh, trick clown, thousand blades. And this one getting it, getting you a new monster, oh, it's pretty nice. Cause all of these things can be normal summoned and special summoned, so and they're all level four, so you're pretty much getting level wise the same back that you contributed, and you're just setting up the graveyard hopefully for some new stuff. Although that's not really true. No, because if you let's say tribute a gigabyte and then you find a thousand blades, it'll be summoned. So that doesn't work. No, maybe you just want to tribute something like Three Clown Damage Juggler or Thousand Blades. <coughs> That's probably why I put it in, sorry. Yeah. Wonder Wand, because extra attack is pretty good. This is one of the things I've been wondering if I wanted to keep it in the deck or not. At the moment I have it in, but this is one of the ones I th I'd say, well, maybe if you don't like it, you can take it out. Now, 500 attack could be nice, can be equipped to any of the Perform Mages, or even the, uh, the Exesis, such as Trapeze Magician. Um, you can send it the uh, Wonder Wand and the Equip Monster to the graveyard to draw two cards, which can be nice, and it would immediately trigger Trick Club to get it back as well. When you have it, have it equipped to that, um, Dark Hole, right Gekki, take rid of opponent's monsters. <laughs> um, Dark Hole would send stuff to the grave as well to set up for things. Two Mystical Space Stuff only, three is definitely good, so that's one of the first things I'd probably put in if I take something out. Three Phoenix Chain, two Call of the Haunted to get something back, because this deck does like exceeding it to rank fours a lot. Two Mirror Force, you could go for three. Two Wire Tap, because this deck doesn't like getting stopped by anything, and this assumes that the opponent runs a lot of traps, but Cosmos, I don't think will run a lot of traps. Neither do Necroz, so Wire Tap, depending on the opponent, you may or may not want to use it. Bottomless Warning and Ring of Destruction, just because they're good cards. As I did say, uh, Mirror Force is an option. Compulse uh, is, an, is just an, another general good card. Mystical Space Food is very often used at 3, so that's an option. Um, Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd is another option. I don't have it in there at the moment, but you could definitely use it. Because you can special summon it if the opponent doesn't have a monster, then normal summon whatever else you may have for an Xyz. And if it inflicts a battle damage to the opponent, you can add a Heroic card from deck to your hand. Now, sure, this could be another Assault Halberd, but this could always also be Thousand Blades. And Thousand Blades actually has an effect that allows you to summon Assault Halberd, so they could combo together a little as well. Extra deck wise, we have Rhapsody and Berserk to batter stuff the opponent's grave. You're gonna get Cowboy generally for that final 800 damage, but well, who knows its attack position uh, effect may be used as well. Abyss Dweller to stop um, grave activation effects. Digus for Emerald for stuff. Why did I put that in? Um. Probably to recycle some stuff that I can use. I don't remember why, sorry. I've not played this deck in a little bit. I have Gaga somewhere, I'm sorry. Why did I put that one in? Uh, this is the Gaga monster you control, which is only going to be Samurai, because you're probably not going to get it out alongside Cowboy. Second attack. Change to change position. I see, okay. The second, two attacks. For any card. Apparently it's just a slightly weaker Blade Armor Ninja. Alright, yeah, I can see why that works, because I have a lot, bunch of rank 4s anyway. Castell gets rid of stuff, Hardline Draco. Um, the att direct attack may just work out at some point. Silent Star Arc, one of the best uh, rank 4s there is, I'd say. Black Ship of Corn. We have King of Feral Imps, because Gigabyte. And that's also the reason why I have Gigabyte at 3, because King of Feral Imps can search for it. Ragna Zero, against stuff that increases or decreases attack. Um, Clifford's have that depending on their um, uh, pendulum scales, and there's a few other decks that may have that as well. You send you with like Fire Formation Tanky. Um, King Gorgon, I barely ever use it, but it can be useful, so you can consider that. Two copies of Performage Trapeze Magician, and then Crazy Books if you just want 3000 attack because useful. Do know that it normally cannot attack. It would be nice to have Skill Drain just to have magically Skill Drain active uh, when Crazy Books is out. So that it can just attack with 3,000, but it could be useful. You could just stall with its 3,000 attack. 
I don't go into it a lot, but maybe at one point you just need the power for an easy two level four monsters without any other requirements. And you just hope you get a good dice roll. Alright, that was the deck profile for the Perform Mage deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions as to what to add or to take out, let me know and we can discuss that. And uh, I'll see you in the UU video tomorrow. Goodbye.